Shout this prayer loud and clear. Say, every giant aside to confront me in this month of March. Giants are signed to oppose me in my month of March. Uh, you are going as you begin to pray, you will say, I scatter you by fire. I scatter you by fire. I scatter you by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every giant confronting me in this month of March by the reason of the blood, by the reason of the fire of God, we scatter you, Baraba, Liban Telebe Mamadelia. Let you be scattered in the name of Jesus. Ragazaba, Maranda Ribebia, Legre de Rebebege Beribebia. I say scatter, I say scatter. Lagra Baba Raba Baribebia Brandi. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to scatter. Legrebebe rebebe gabaradi. Rababa rebebe rebebe gabaradi. Rebebe rebebe gabaradi. Rebebe 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 Shandala bantelebebe rebebe gabaradi. Regede rebebe rebebe gabaradi. Rebebe rebebe gabaradi. Rebebe rebebe gabaradi. Rebebe rebebe gabaradi. Rebebe 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 gabaradi. I say scatter by fire. Legranda rababa rebebe gabaradi. Julebe rebebe 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 gabaradi. Shanda braba 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 You this month, uh, my month of blessing. Libranda rebebia. Rege de rebebe 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 braba radi. Raba braba 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 rebebe braba radi. Jole bele rebebe 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 braba radi. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You will see, my body. Appearing in witchcraft coven. Come out by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ragazaban talaban dele bebia. Irrega de rebebe ke berebebe ke berebe bia. La gragaza branca da raba baga ba. Le branca ban talaban dele bebia. Irrega de rebebe ke berebe bia. I say come out by fire. Laka ba le branca zombrenderia. Ilaga la gragaza barandia. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Zelemen dele bebe ke ba. Ribebia barando ribebia. Shaka taban talabadelia. Rege de rebebe ke berebebe ke berebebe ke berebebia. Zankautobo. Libra baba rebebe ke berebebe rebebia. Rebaba rebaba ke barandia. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Grab hold of a money in your hand. You want to use money as a point of contact. Get money quickly in your hand from your wallet, whatever it is. Just get, grab a hold of money. Hallelujah. And say this loud and clear. Say all of my money caged by the powers of darkness. I untie my finances by the power in the blood. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every money that has been caged, every money that has been tied down, every money that has been bound, let them be loose now by the reason of the blood. All my money that has been caged by the powers of hell, let them be released. Let them be released. I can't hear you pray. I can't hear you pray. You are too quiet. Ragazaban, Dalaban de Lebebia. Shagadaban talaban de lebebia, rege de rebebe ke berebebe ke berebebia, rababa man don talaban de lebebe kabaya, rombon to rebebe rebebe kabaya, shat talaban de lebebe lebebe kabaya, ilaban de lebebe lebebe kabala di, rondo rebebe rebebe abradi. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory to God. Amen. Please, I beg, I beg of you, many of you, hallelujah, please get ready for what God is about to do in your life. Your lives will never be the same again. Amen. Your life will never be the same Amen. again. Say this loud and clear. My stubborn, my stubborn problems are signed to make me cry. Can you say my stubborn problems are signed to make me cry this month? In the name of Jesus, be dissolved now in the name of Jesus. 
Ligraba baba baka shanta bahanta la badulia reba baka zumbrende rikaza reke de rebe beke berebe beka baradia reke de rebe beke berebe beke berebe bia la grada reba baba baba baka baraba baka berebe bia be resurrected now in the name of Jehovah libaka bara baba ya baradi in Jesus name we pray. Amen. When the enemy wants to affect a destiny, hallelujah. When the enemy wants to affect a destiny, they use what they call cauldron. Hallelujah. Cauldron. And they control, they begin to control the whole city through witchcraft. Hallelujah. They begin to, we looked at that in, in, the, in the past. We might look at it again. This, I mean, when we get into the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we begin to see how the enemy begin to try to tie out, tie down believers. Amen. Through demonic manipulation, through demonic spells and enchantments. Amen. Through the influences of the wicked. The enemy begins to do all kinds of dirty works, dirty activities to unbelievers. Hallelujah. And so there's one thing that we're going to pray today is talking about the soul. When the enemy wants to control and control you, it controls your mind, your will, and your emotion. When you read the word of God, the word of God plays a role in your life. The word of God begins to control your destiny. The word of God begins to, uh, begins to, uh, uh, the Bible says, uh, Amen. Hallelujah. If you meditate upon the word of the Lord day and night, he said, What? You will begin to prosper if you meditate. But now the devil will influence the mind of people through media, through television, through all kinds of things. Amen. Just to what? Control you. Sometimes you wake up and you sit down in one spot and you can sit down there for five hours, not to do anything. Your mind is somewhere else. Hallelujah. Your mind, your mind, your mind. The Bible says, Let, let this mind be in Christ, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. This mind of Christ, let it be in you. Why? Because when you have the mind of Christ, you begin to think things above. You begin to operate in a higher realm, in a higher level. But when the enemy have captivated, arrest, or deployed an attack against your mind, what happens? Your mind becomes enslaved by the enemy. But if your mind is free, you begin to do things that are free. Hallelujah. Amen. If your mind has been caged, you begin, you, it's like you are on a treadmill, but moving, advancing nowhere. Hallelujah. Sometimes people begin to see uh, the things that represent them in the demonic realm. Hallelujah. Today you are going to pray. Today you are going to pray. Amen. Anywhere my soul has been caged, I break free. I break free by fire. Whatsoever is caging my soul, whatsoever is holding my soul, whatsoever is tying down my soul, today I break free by the reason of the blood. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Anything that is caging my soul, anything that is holding my soul, anything that is tying down my soul, anywhere my soul has been kept, anywhere my soul has been bound, Lord, today as I begin to pray, I release them by fire. When you begin to pray this prayer, if you have your spouse and you know that they have been caged by strange women, if you know that your spouse a, a, a woman went to a voodoo priest amen against your spouse against your husband against your wife or somebody really loved your wife or somebody really loved your husband keeps calling them and they, it changes their mood it affects them towards you and you know that or your son or your daughter is being controlled by somebody amen and you know that their character their activities their mannerisms are so different please i beg of you get your picture as we speak right now because this prayer it will the fire will lose them wherever they are the fire will go far amen any soul under demonic captivity, any soul bewitched, any anywhere my soul has been bewitched, anywhere my soul has been tied down, anywhere my soul is under the influence or the captivity of wicked powers. Hallelujah. As I begin to pray, let my soul be released. Let my soul or that of my family, any soul, Lord, in the name of Jehovah, by the reason of the blood, I disconnect my soul from the hand of the devil. I disconnect my soul from satanic bewitchment. I disconnect my soul from witchcraft powers. I disconnect my soul from satanic man some of you are controlled by stepmothers by stepfathers amen they've taken your name they've seen your glory and listen to me if you are the firstborn sometimes amen they take the star of the firstborn and they transfer the talents to others in the family today you're going to pray any of my soul in demonic camp any of my soul that has been under demonic oppression or witchcraft today i listen to me a a, a, a man went out Amen. With the, with the mother, and they came back, and the, the, the boy was asking, "Where is my mother? Where is my mother?" He was looking for the mother. He said, "Oh, uh, my mommy traveled overseas." And this guy was searching for the mother, young boy. Hallelujah. Amen. So one day, one day, one day, one day, ah, something happened. Something happened. This boy just wandered around the house, wandered and wandered. This after years, they just went to. It was just curious how there was this place that was locked, and the, the father never opens that the, that door, the room. But one day, the boy just went there. I think the father forgot to lock the door opened the door and as he opened the wardrobe he saw the mother but the mother was frozen 
and the mother's mouth and they, as, as they shout mommy money started coming out from the mother money was coming out from the mother's mouth why the mother was under demonic captivity and exchange you are going to pray you are going to pray anywhere my soul has been caged whatsoever has bewitched brainwashed i influence my soul whoever has influenced the soul of my family whosoever any of my soul or my children that is under demonic captivity today I untie, I release them by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ragazaban, Talaban, Deli Bibia. My soul, Lagrada, Ribebia. And the souls of my children be untied. Let them be released. Let them be released. Let them be released. Ligregezeban, no Rababa, Ribebia. Ragazabaran, the Rebebeke, Berianta. Billy Bibia, Palaman, Deli Bibia, Paya. Let them be released by the power and the blood. Let them be released in the name of Jesus. Shungrenda, Baranda, Rababa, Gazumbrehe. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shugregede Rababa. Rebebe 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 Gabarandia. Or Lugrogo Zumbra Hayas. In Jesus' name we pray. If you're a woman here and you, fi you find things moving in your body, you're a woman here, you feel things moving in your lower part of your body. Please, I beg of you, be very serious with this prayer. Amen? Be very, very serious with this prayer. Say this loud and clear. You find a white man. I don't mean like, I don't mean, I don't mean to mean to be racial, but I'm, I'm not talking about that. You find a white man in your dream. Like showing so much affection. This man maybe appears twice a week. Or even every night or sometimes in the month but in the dream it seems like two of you are best friends shows you secret things tells you things that, yeah you sometimes you feel like as if it's there like the holy spirit but it tells you some secrets if you sometimes it feels like prophecy demonic sirens we're going to deal with them we're going to deal with them demonic sirens from the waters Many people are married to such creatures in the realm of the spirit. You are going to pray this prayer loud and clear. Every evil personality, Every evil personality. representing me as their spouse in the spirit. Representing me as their partner in the spirit. Every evil personality married to me in the spirit. I divorce you and die by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Raga zebra and la bahaya. Ile ke dere bebe ke dere bebe ka barandia. Raga dere bebe ke dere bebe ka barandia. Lag raga zaga raga dere bebe ka barandia. Aidi kata baraka zeka taya. Ilag raga zebra ndaria. We divorce, we divorce you and die by fire. Every strange being, every stranger appearing in your dream. Ilag raga zanda raba baka ba. Ile grande dere bebe dere bebe ka barandia. Ilag raba bar bebe ka barandia. Ilaga dere bebe dere bebe ka barandia. Baby, strangers appearing uh, in la gragadaria as your spouse uh, in the realm of the spirit uh, by the sword of God. We disconnect them by fire. We disconnect them by fire. In la gragazabarandia. Open your mouth. Uh, open your mouth and uh, begin to pray. Labrababaka shantabaha. Lendo robobobo rebebega barandish. We disconnect them now. now. In the name of Jesus, we disconnect them now. Rababa, Rebebega, Berebebian, Ila Grande, Rebebe, Rebebega, Berebebia, Ragada Raba, Rebebega, Berebebian, Alla Grande, Rebebe, Rebebega, Berebebe, Rebebega, Berebebia, Rada Raba, Rebebega, Berebebe, Rebebe, Adika Manto, Laman, Deliberate, Berebebe, God, Rebebe, Rebebe, Rebebia, Every Spirit Bound, Talaban, Deliberia, Bradi. In Jesus' name we pray. Any property, any object, any ring, 
connecting me to the demonic world or connecting me to any personality catch fire any object, any ring, binding me to any personality. I say, catch fire. I say, catch fire. Son rababa rebebe rebebe kebe rebebia ilaka da rababa rebebe rebebe abradi janda rababa rababa kazabada zele rekede rebebe rebebe rebebia ilaka rebebe rebebe rebebia el rebebe 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 kebe rebebia el rebebe rebebe rebebia Amen. Sometimes you see yourself being married in the spirit. You see a wedding or a traditional wedding happening. You even see a marriage happening. Sometimes you think it's a future marriage. You don't even know that it's a marriage or a wedding conducted in the dream, conducted in the spirit. You have been attached to a spirit being. You have been attached to a stranger. Amen. Hallelujah. And when that stranger is there, is every time he comes and begins to pull you down. And sometimes when you meet some, a physical spouse, you meet somebody, an attractive person that you want to go along with, this spiritual spouse begin to create a level of confusion. Amen. Begin to bring all kinds of confusion between your, your future spouse. Amen. Sometimes appears in their dream as an and uses your face and appears in their dream. Amen. And the any and they will begin to look at you and despise you because they think that you are the devil. Amen. And this is what this is what this is the antiques of any spirit or stranger that is claiming to you as a wife or a husband in the spirit. You're going to pray. Say this loud and clear. Every ring binding me to any stranger in my in the dream. Any evil, any ring of darkness binding me to any demonic personality as a husband or as a wife. Are you hearing me? Every ring binding me to any personality claiming to me as their husband or their wife. That ring must be destroyed by fire. When the ring comes upon you, they don't put it on your hand. They put it in your blood. Amen? And that ring will keep attracting strangers to have sex with you and all kinds of things. They control you and they influence you. When you are following God and you are fasting, they will come to defile you and pollute you. Hmm. Every evil ring Binding me to any stranger from the water, any evil ring, binding me to any evil personality, claiming to me as my husband or my wife. Let that ring catch fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Raga zaban, zaban telebebia. Let the ring catch fire. Raga zaban, telebebia. Let the ring catch fire. Raga zaban, telebebia. Let the ring catch fire. Raga zaban, telebebia. Let the ring catch fire. Raga let the ring catch fire. Let the ring be destroyed. Macro da Raba Baba. Sheleban de Lebrebebebebebebebebebia. Rebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
Rebekabarandiata, Elabanto Labantele Bebia, Rega de Rebebeca, Rebebeca, Rebebeca Barandia, let the evil material, let the evil veil catch fire, Rabba Baba Cosontaba, Rega de Rebebeca Barandi, Rebebe Rebebeca, Rebebe Rebebeca, Rebebia, I command it to catch fire, I command it to catch fire, Shanda Ba, Baranda Rebebe, Rega de Rebebe, Rebebeca, Rebebeca, Rebebia, Libranda Rebebe, Rebebeca, Rebebia, Rebebe, 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 Rebebeca, Rebebia, Libranda Rebebe, Rebebeca, Rebebe, Rebebeca, Rabando Rababa Rababa Gabandorios Amen 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 one of the things we, 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 we begin to see and study in the Bible is that there are people that come into our lives that we thank God for. And there are people that come into our lives that we feel bad that they came into our lives. There are some certain people that when they come, they bring bondage. And there are some certain people that come, they, they bring solutions in your life. Anybody that, has, that comes that brings problems in your life, they bring a sense of delay in your destiny. Somebody say delay. delay. Amen. There is a level of delay that you begin to go through. There's a level of delay that you begin to you come under. Hallelujah. As a result of association. Amen. This month of March, you are going to really pray. And you're going to begin to ask God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're going to begin to ask God and say, Lord, today, every wrong friend and every wrong influence that has been attached in my life, every wrong friend, every wrong person that has been, that has been deployed or released to come into my life, to walk into my life in this month of March, my Father, I beg you, by your mercy, keep them away. Bring the right people. Keep the wrong people away from my life. The wrong people will bring challenges. The wrong people will bring affliction. The wrong people will bring problems. The wrong people will bring witchcraft. The wrong people. Are you hearing me today? Lord, keep me away from the wrong company by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and begin to pray. Oh Lord, remove from me the wrong people and bring the right company in my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Every unfriendly friend appearing in my life. Uh, our friendly friends are people that are very enticing. You tell them all of your heart. You don't know how you expose your heart. You reveal everything because there is something on their tongue. They talk with you with a serpent tongue. When a man talks to you with a serpent tongue, you can't withhold secrets from them. Hallelujah. Say this loud and clear. Shout it loud and clear. Hallelujah. Every unfriendly friend in my life. Holy Ghost as you expose them. Take them out of my life. Do you understand the prayer? Holy Ghost, every unfriendly friend in my life, as you expose them, remove them from my life. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Unfriendly friends. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This week, uh, this uh, next week, beginning from Monday, we're going to do what they call house sanitation. Somebody say house sanitation. We're going to cleanse the house by the by the by by the using of the water. Hallelujah! By the water, by the water, we're going to cleanse. 
the house. Amen. So remind me, okay? In case I forget, that they will join the week when we begin our fast. We're going to cleanse our house from strange personalities, strange beings, you know? In our house, they, 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 there is a, their energy that we emit. Amen. Somebody say energy. There is, a, there is a center force of energy. There are what they call forces of good and forces of evil. There's what they call forces of darkness and forces of light. Amen. When a man begins to gossip and a man begins to talk evil, 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 evil. Hallelujah. You begin to gossip here, gossip here, gossip here, gossip here. Before you know it, you begin to allow a spirit begin to enter. And it's a serpentine spirit of accusation. Amen. But now when you begin to praise God, you begin to play praise and worship in the atmosphere. You begin to pray with your, your spouse. And you begin to pray. There's a level of glory that enters the place. But if you don't do that often, amen, hallelujah, the glory will come and then when you use angry or whatever it is, the spirit of God leaves. And then the devil come and takes over and because of the invitation of anger. So anger begins to invite the devil and then thereby, if this continues, your house becomes pollutant. Does that make sense? So in the atmosphere of anger, when you cook, sometimes you have to bless your food again so that to sanctify Amen. Because the atmosphere, anything you do under an atmosphere, the atmosphere influences whatever you do. If you open an atmosphere to this to, to creativity, to worship, and to the worship to the presence of God, everything that you do will be done under the light of God. Remember the first thing that God said is, well, let there be light. And when light shined, something began to happen. Praise God. When light was when light invaded the place, amen, something happened. God began to create. Begin, begin to, why? Because light was influencing his, his reasoning. Light began to influence his thoughts because everything was seen in the light. When you are, when you are, Ill, when your mind is illuminated by God's light, Amen. You you will not think ideas will just be flowing easily, easily, easily because what is motivated. Some of us in our houses, we, we, there's no light. Light is not shining. Darkness is brooding over us. Darkness is bringing chaos, confusion, all kinds of nonsense. Amen. Making a man not to even sleep. Why? Because darkness has invaded the place. You're going to pray. Say this loud and clear. Say every evil presence in my household. Say this loud and clear. Evil presence in my house. You say by the reason of the blood of Jesus. I want you to talk like a prophet. Don't talk like a, a loser. Don't talk like a defeated uh, folks. But Lord, I say by the reason of the blood of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, let every dark presence be rolled away from my house. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and make that decree. Legraba son daba handa labado. Every evil presence in my house. Legraba ba raba ba rebe be gabaradia. Be rolled away. Be flushed away by the blood. Raba ba makan daraba banderia. Rega de rebe be rebe be gabaradia. I roll away every every negative presence in my household. Legraba ba ba raba ba rebe be gabaradia. Rondo rebe be gabarebe be abradi. I come against you by the power in the blood. Every negative presence in my household. E grada rebebia. E rega de rebebe rebebe gebe rebebe gebe rebebia. E rega de rebebe rebebe gebe rebebe rebebia. E la gada reba reba gaba ramandia. Son grande rebebe rebebe gaba radi. Shada ban thala ban dele bebia. Rega de rebebe rebebe gebe rebebia. E rebebe rebebe gebe rebebe rebebe gebe rebebe rebebia. E rebebe 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 gebe rebebe rebebia. La grada reba 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 gebe rebebe rebebia. E rebebe 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 gebe rebebe rebebe rebebia. E rebebe 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 gebe rebebia. E raba ba ba raba ba rebebia. Mala brada reba reba gebe rebebe rebebia. Rebebe rebebe rebebia abradish. In Jesus name we pray. Hallelujah. This prayer also added to, amen. Where well, there's one they call personalities, amen. Personalities. But yes, when we're going to pray, we're going to pray. Say, strangers. The Bible says, strangers shall be afraid and shall be afraid out of their close places. Psalm 18. You're going to pray. Say, strangers of darkness dwelling in my household. I bind and I cast you out. Strangers. Of darkness in my household strangers dwelling in my household I bind and I cast you out in the name of Jesus open your mouth and fire prayer every strangers in la grada rababaya I bind you and I cast you out I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus by the reason 
of the blood. I bind every unclean spirit. I bind every unclean spirit. I arrest them by the blood. You spirit of confusion. You spirit of infirmity. You spirit of worry. You spirit of anger. You rage of the devil. You unclean spirit in my house. I bind you by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You spirit of fear. You spirit of oppression. You spirit of affliction. Be arrested by the blood. Be arrested by the blood. I cast you up by the blood. I cast you up by the blood. I cast you up by the blood. You spirit of prevention. You sabotage spirit. I bind you. I bind you. I bind you. Let a reacatoria. I command you to depart by the fire of God. 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 In la galebe. 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 In la a place of wilderness is a place whereby you are being tried. It's a place where you and the flesh begin to interact. It's a place where you have been sent into that place to arrest your flesh, not the spirit. It's a place to lose your spirit and to bind the flesh. So the, the warfare is towards your flesh. But we see something very unique. The devil begin to talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Turn the stones to bread. Now was distracting Jesus now. Worship me. Do this and do that. But the, the response of Jesus baffled us. Man shall only by bread alone. Satan, get the hands from me. Satan, get the hands from me. And when Satan got out, angels came to minister. What? Angels came to minister. Really? So it means that as long as you don't cast out that voice, if there's a personality in the house, he will begin to speak to you. He might not speak to you, he might speak to your wife. He might not speak to your wife, he might speak to your children. If they hear that voice from the evil one, there's, it, it, it will interrupt the progress of God. It will conflict the vision of God for the house. It will bring the voice will bring an unrest. The voice will bring provocation. The voice will stop the joy of God. The voice will bring a, a perversion, lost, seduction. The voice will, 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 will begin to arrest divine visions and dreams. The voice will begin to interrupt even the dream. You will begin to see things in the dream that you know that this is not God. But when that voice, when you speak to that voice, depart from me, like Jesus spoke. Something comes. Angels begin to minister to you. You begin to have clarity of mind. You begin to have peace of mind. But when the spirit of oppression, the spirit of affliction is upon a man, it's because what? There are presence of evil. There are people, voices ministering to you, and you don't know where these voices are coming from. You're going to contend and you're going to pray. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the prayer? Hallelujah. Every stranger's ministering to me in my household. You know what I mean by strangers? You sleep, you begin to feel like you want to have sex. You sleep, somebody's touching you. Somebody's strange. There are many times I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm sleeping and it's time for me to pray. I don't need alarm. The Lord will just tap me on my shoulder. Pow. Okay, wake up. It's time for you to pray now. I'm not talking about the prayer line. I'm talking about my own personal life. Sometimes I feel a touch on my shoulder. It's time to pray. But for many people, it's not that. The devil harasses them. And it gets them to deep bondage. Sometimes even before the prayer line. Ha, you're going to pray. <laughs> strangers in my temple. Strangers in my household. 
enough is enough by the reason of the blood get thee out of my household open your mouth and fire prayer get thee out of my household open your mouth and fire prayer every stranger every stranger get thee out of my life in the name of Jesus. Every stranger with strange voice, every stranger with strange power, every stranger with seduction, every stranger with affliction, every stranger with problem, every stranger in the name of Jehovah, every stranger with affliction or with oppression, every stranger with depression in my house. I said, Depart in the name of Jehovah. I command you to get out. Get out, get out, get out. You unclean spirit, I bind and I cast you out. I bind and I cast you out. Out of my household in the name of Jesus. Out of my household. Out of my household. Egabarada, Egarabadaya. Labante le bebe cabarandia. Regade rebebega berebebia bradia. Rabababa, rabababa, rabababa gabaya. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every unclean house, every unclean destiny, every unclean spirit, abiding in my household. Elagraga baradia. By the fire of God. By the fire of God. I command it to come out from my house. Come out in the name of Jehovah. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Please say this prayer loud and clear. Say, strangers perfect, uh, strangers perverting my thoughts and my dreams. Strangers per perverting my thoughts and my dreams. Be arrested. Be arrested and get out of my life now. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every stranger, Igaragadaria, be arrested. Get out of my life now. Every stranger is perverting my thoughts, perverting my household. I bind you and I command you, get out of my life. 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 Of my life. Every stranger is perverting my mind, perverting my thoughts, perverting my household, perverting my destiny. I bind you by the blood and I command you, get out, get out, get out. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ligraba Shatabaha. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Rabba Baba Rabba. Shantala Bandele Bebe Gabaradish. Get out by the blood. Get out by the blood. Mangrada Rabba Baba Rebebe Gabaradish. Ilondo Lobondo Rebebe Rebebia. Zantara Bande Rebebe Gabere Miamradish. Get out in the name of Jesus. La Granda Rabba Baba Rebebe Gabere Bebia. Strangers in my household. Strangers in my household. Strangers influencing my thoughts. Strangers influencing my children. Strangers influencing my wife. In the name of Jesus, I bind and arrest you. Get out of my household. Get out of my household. Strangers influencing my dream. I bind and I cast you out. I bind and I cast you out. I bind and I cast you out. Strangers influencing my organs. I bind and I cast you out. Oh my God, yeah. Strangers influencing my dreams influencing my finances be arrested by the blood of jesus Shout it loud and clear. Say, Thou power of God, fall upon my household. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Thou power of God, Egraga, 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 fall upon my household. Let the power of God Let the power of God fall upon my household. Let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Rabba Baba, 
bandele bandele bere bebia regede rebe bere bebe bere bebe bere bebia rebe bere bebe bere bebe bere bebia raba raba bere bebe gabaradi mangrada rebe bere bebe gabaradi rebe bere bebe bere bebe gabaradi malaban telebos in the name telaban te regede rebe bere bebe bere bebe bere bebia raba bere bebe bere bebe gabaradi In Jesus name we pray. One of the things that you must understand when they when the once you are one listen to me. Every man has an authority over their household. Whether you're a priest, I mean if you love the Lord and you love the Lord among more than all of you more than anyone in your family, then the Lord will use you as a priest in your family. Amen. And you have authority to take authority over the devil. And this is what the things you're going to pray. Amen. When you begin to find out your child is afflicted with one addiction or the other. Amen. You are, you are, or you begin to feel headache. You begin to feel sick. You know. Or even your spouse begin to feel sick in one way or the other. It's, it just becomes wanting or the other. Wanting or the other. It's the spirit of oppression. It's the spirit of, of affliction. And it's the spirit of depression. These are spirits, these are forces that have entered your house that are living with you. If the Lord will open your microscopic eyes, your forensic eyes, you will begin to see all kinds of evil energy. Darkness. Darkness. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1. I'll give you an example so that you understand what I was talking about. Genesis chapter 1. Hallelujah. Kalebrondo Sumvraha. This month of August. This month of as a month of August. This month of March is a serious month. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. So, what is this trying to say? That in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So, in the beginning, the heavens and the earth was created already. Something happened. It was summarized. It wasn't, they didn't give us the full details. Something brought again the void. Something brought a destruction upon the earth. That is another message for some time. But something happened. And then it says the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. There was no form. There was no beauty. There was nothing attractive to earth. When you look at earth, it was pure darkness. Why? There were some hidden treasures within the earth. But darkness covered it. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the deep, of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And God saw the light. It was, and, that, and, and that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. Darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning. And God said, let there be firmament. So we see that once God said, let there be light. Something begin to happen. Beginning from Monday. When we begin this fast. We're going to do what they call house cleansing. House sanitation. Because many of the things we put in our house have not been dedicated. We will get oil and we will begin to anoint everything according to what God said with the anointing oil. Moses, anoint everything, consecrate everything that was created. You see, they built the ark of God, they built other things, the craft, the baths, the basin work, the brazen altar, they built all those things, but they needed to what? Consecrate it. They needed to anoint it with oil. God still says anoint it. Even though it was created by the same men that God referred. Some of you buy used things. Some of you bring it to your house. You don't even anoint it. Some of, some of you bring clothes. You don't even anoint it. There are clothes that have been dedicated. Amen? If I, if I wear a shirt on that, the anointing, and I'm sweating, and I give you that same suit to wear, there is an anointing that is being released on you. Amen? There is an anointing that comes upon you. 
Amen? Because of what? My prayer life. Because of my spiritual life. Now, if I walk in sin, deep sin, and I don't even pray at all, if I become filthy, if I walk away from God, and I give you that same garment, that thing that causes me to struggle will come upon you. Are you hearing me today? This is the thing that has affected a lot of lives. We go around testing things, putting things on in our life. We put on a wig, we put on attachments, we put on everything we want to put on. But guess what? We don't sanctify it. We don't anoint it. And so the devil feels that they have upper right. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There was a particular chair that I bought. And I poured oil here on the chair. And I blessed it. This is minutes after I just let me just sit down and sleep. I sat down and slept. And here, yeah, I'm in a church. A man of God comes and wants to and starts praying for me. Immediately, there's a transformation. Why? Because the oil here was poured on the chair. God honors those little, little things you do. You don't need to shout and scream when you're pouring oil. Simple prayer, and God honors it. When last did you consecrate or reconsecrate the things in your house? When last did you anoint the door? So beginning from Monday, as we begin the liquid fast, Monday till Sunday, we're going to be begin to anoint every area of our lives. We're going to go around anointing the, our oil, the bed, everywhere, the chair. I, I will lead you. Hallelujah. So get ready for what God is about to do. Amen. God will stun us with some miracles and some signs and some wonders. Hallelujah. In my household, shout this prayer loud and clear. In my household. The Bible says that the Holy Ghost said to Mary, the angel said to Mary, he says, Thou art highly favored. And Mary said, How is it thou shalt bear a son? And then Mary said, How can this be? The Holy Ghost says, And the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. I don't know how many of you want to be overshadowed by God cry out together to, to, to God today. <laughs> Lord, by your power in the Holy Ghost, overshadow my house, overshadow my life, overshadow my house, overshadow my life with your Holy Ghost power. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Overshadow my house. With the power in the, of the highest, with the power in the Holy Ghost, Elegre, Elegre, Gaderia, overshadow me, Holy Ghost, overshadow my house with your power, with your fire, Egragada, Rebebebebebebebebia, Rebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
this month of March. Whooping! I want you to pray this prayer loud and clear. Listen to me. Demons are specialized in closing the right doors and opening evil doors. Opening the right door, closing the right doors, opening evil doors. When Adam and Eve sinned against God, God removed the tree. God closed the door that will lead them to the tree of life. Closed the door. And then they, was, they, were, they exited the place of pleasure, Eden. You're going to pray. You're going to pray. You're going to pray. You're going to pray. There are evil doors that can be opened by sin. And there are good doors that will be opened by favor and by fasting. Good, good doors. Say every door of favor. Every door of prosperity. What is prosperity? Let me explain it so you understand. It's not just about money. It says, I wish above all that ye would prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. So when a door of prosperity is open, your soul, which is your mind, your will, and your emotions. If, for instance, now I pick up this book, I pick up this book, and I begin to read, and my soul is prospering, door has been opened in my life a good door of prosperity has been opened if my door of prosperity is opened good friends can walk through that door or I can be introduced to new friends because the door is open and I can meet people that will elevate me because the door is open when a good door is open are you hearing me I will begin to have godly ideas speaking to somebody I will begin to meet my Marys, my Elizabeth. God will begin to connect me with divine connection, divine relationships. I begin to connect with divine helpers. I begin. This is when I'm, I'm motivated. This is when I begin to experience a high level of joy. Because why? The door of prosperity and favor is open. Everywhere I go, everywhere I apply for job, I begin to experience what they call favor. Because why? The door of favor is open for my life. Everywhere you go, you begin to, you are accepted. People are not hostile towards you. And if anybody is hostile towards you, it's because those are people with wrong spirits and they should not be in your life. When a man is hostile, this one is hostile, everyone is hostile, and they are good people, then you know that the evil door has been opened in your life. That causes a man not to prosper. Your mind will not prosper. Your soul will not prosper. Your will is even affected. Because why? An evil door is open. Hmm. My prayer for you today. Every good door of favor. Every door of prosperity. In this month of March. Open! Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every door, lagabara badia, rege de rebebe rebebia, magranda rebaba rebebe gebe rebebia, ilabande rebebe rebebia baradish. In Jesus' name, some of you are not understanding the prayer. We're going to pray that prayer again. Say this after me. See every door of favor, every door of prosperity in this month of March. Open, open, open. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ragada rababa, rebebega barani. Zelebende rebebe rebebega berebebia. Rada rababa rebebe rebebega berebebin. Rebebe rebebega berebebe rebebia. Rada rababa rebebega berebebe rebebia. Rebebe rebebega berebebe rebebia. You do. Le grande rebebe rebebe rebebia. Rebebe rebebega berebebe rebebega berebebia. Rebebe 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 rebebia. Rebebe 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 rebebega barani. I command every good door to open. Le grande rebebe rebebe rebebia. Rebebe in Jesus' name we pray. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Gates of hell talks about evil authority. Gates of hell. We try to interrupt the progress and the visitation of God in your life. Every time, have you noticed that every time you receive a very powerful dream, if shortly after that you go back to bed, the next dream you have is a negative one. Because the devil does not like you getting dreams from God. He always wants to 
to, to destroy godly dreams. You always want to destroy visitations from God. You always want to destroy. Sometimes you even dream you're from God. You go back to sleep. Sometimes they didn't want to give you food in the dream. Just to pollute what God is doing in your life. Are you hearing me? <laughs> Every plan and agenda of the devil for my life in this month of March. Every satanic plan every satanic agenda every will of the devil for my life in this month of march you will lift your voice and you say let it be aborted let it what be aborted let it what be aborted open your mouth and fire prayer evil plan evil agenda for my life this month of march be aborted in the name of Jesus. Be aborted. Raga zabanda. Rebe bia brandia. Rege de rebe be rebe be be rebe bia. Rababa rababa rebe be brandia. Rege de rebe be rebe be rebe bia brandi. Be aborted by the blood. Le grain de rebe be rebe be be rebe bia brandi. Rege de rebe be rebe be be rebe be rebe bia. Rababa rababa gaba rababa rababa gaba brandia. Ele re de rebe be rebe be rebe be be rebe bia. Be aborted by the blood. Be aborted by the blood. Rege de rebe be rebe be be rebe be rebe bia. Rebe be Rebe be be rebe be rebe be abrani. Raba ba raba ba gaba raba ba rebe be gaba rani. Rebe be rebe be rebe be gaba rebe bia. Ah raba ba 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 gaba ando rebe bia. Be aborted by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Joel. Joel chapter two. Shall we go there? We talked about it a few days ago. Many people are asking me. Uh, people ask us why are we fasting, and I and I said, my goodness, you missed the word of the Lord. Uh, you you missed the prayer line yesterday. I believe we will speak about it again. And um, Joy chapter two. Time is fast spent already. I won't go deep into the word of the Lord today. But I want to just recap on what we spoke yesterday. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. You are wonderful. You are glorious. Joy chapter 2. Hallelujah. We are speaking yesterday. Hallelujah. And we spoke about... Joy chapter 2, we spoke about when you begin to yield yourself and do the bidings of God. When a man begins to fast, when a man begins to obey God. Hallelujah. There are some certain characteristics and some certain blessings that you begin to receive from God. Hallelujah. I know the time is fast spent, but I want to, to share this very quickly. It says, Blow ye the trumpet of Zion and sound an alarm in the holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord comes. For it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness, a gloominess. And now God is saying all these things, but there's judgment coming. He says, A day what? A day of darkness and, and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. And as the morning spread as the morning mountains, a great people and a strong day have not been ever like never, neither be any more, even to the years of many generations. So what is he trying to say? What is he trying to tell us? Hallelujah. He's trying to tell us something. God is trying to emphasize something. He's saying, It's not my will that you suffer it's not my will that your cities be destroyed but because of your accumulation or, or consumption of food and consumption of sin he's saying now that he says what there's been a day of darkness and of gloominess a day of cloud a day of thick darkness meaning the enemy and the, the wizards when, when the bible talks about darkness it doesn't talk, just talk about night season it's talking about the rage of the devil. We're talking about evil. Evil is prevailing against your land. Hallelujah. And it says that a fire before it before them and behind them a flame that burns. The land is as the garden of Eden before them. And behind them a desolate and behind them a desolate wilderness. So before them there is a garden of Eden that God has prepared for you. There is a blessing that is before you. But behind you, where you are right now, your present state, he said what? There is what? Wilderness. And nothing shall escape them. He said the appearance of them is as a, is a, the appearance of horses. Meaning these demons are very ferocious. They are very fast. They will outrun you. Amen. It's not something that you can contend with. And he said, look at behold your faces. The people shall be 
much pain all their faces shall gather blackness meaning these forces that you are about to contend with these are too powerful look at verse 7 it says they shall run like mighty men they shall climb the walls like the men of war they shall march everyone on his own ways and they and they shall not break their ranks neither shall one trust another they shall walk every one path and when they fall he said when they fall he said he said, he said, he said what they shall run like mighty men they shall climb the wall like men of war they shall march everyone on his way praise god glory to god hallelujah thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus oh rabba baka shanta I'm, 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 I'm explaining something here I'm explaining something something some of you understand what is really going on here amen so bear, bear with us glory to god bear with us hallelujah bear with us bear with us bear with us bear with us Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody say glory to God. Amen. Somebody say glory to God. You must understand that when you cross your Red Sea today, you will begin to see you cross your Red Sea. Amen. Often afflictions will break from your life. Amen. Afflictions will break from your life. Things that have contended against you will be destroyed. But look at what it says here. Look at what it says. It says what? These men that will confront a people. This man that will come, that is the enemy has planned and has raged. I mean, if you remember last week, and I said that there are certain people that I saw that will come under demonic attack because I saw this huge man walking around looking for who he may devour. And I seen that, and I seen there were some certain spirits that were behind him. And I said, Oh my goodness, I need to alert those on the prayer line. Listen to me listen to me listen to me the god the god god is about to show you favor trust me when i tell that god is about to show you favor believe what i'm trying to tell you and look at what it says he said what these shall run like mighty men they will not break rank meaning they are very organized they don't come alone they come with the troop and god is trying to tell you prepare because of the battle thick darkness is befalling you because the brighter your light the, the more they are attracted, then they know those who stand in the light. You might not see those in darkness because it, 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 you have to shine those areas. To, if the light has to bridge those areas for them to be revealed. But those in darkness know that you carry the light. Verse 8. Neither one trust another. They shall walk everyone in his path. They shall fall upon the sword and they shall not be wounded. Meaning you will use your weapons to attack them. They cannot be destroyed. Hmm. Oh my God, I don't see the high. Listen to me. Look how this is. Even the earth will quake before them. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the walls. They shall climb upon the house of houses. And they shall enter into the windows like a thief. God is talking about this. Spirits. 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 That will come into a, a man's house. And begin to do all kinds of things. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. When you begin to study now. God is saying get ready for a battle that is being drawn. Get ready now because the enemy is raging against you. The enemy has set on a time, set on a calendar to wage war against you. You might be strong, but those around you, your family members, those who are weak, those who are under your care, he's saying, arise now, arise in battle. Look at what it says now in verse 12. Let's read from verse 11. It says what? Um, before we go into that verse 11, look at what it says in verse 10. It says, And the earth shall quake before them, the heaven shall tremble, the sun, the moon shall be dark. Meaning your time of shining, meaning your season to rise out of obscurity becomes darkened because these forces have come around you. The moon will be dark. And you so say, What? The word dark means. The Bible says the heavens declare the glory of the Lord, Psalm 19. And the film let me show it is handiwork. Now, it says the 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 the, the, the sun will, has been authorized to rule by day and the moon by night. 
when darkness comes on it, it means that it's now influenced by the evil force. It's not influenced by the evil powers. Hallelujah. And I, I hope you're, you're, getting, you're, you're getting understanding here. And the Lord and the stars shall redraw their shining because of these men that are risen, this evil force. The enemy begins to go at rage to influence the stars of men, darken the stars of men so that they don't shine. Begins to close down their heavens so that they don't hear from God. Their moon, their, their sun that will shine, that begin to release revelations, is it's now darkened. But look at what it says. Verse 11. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great. He is strong that executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great. Very terrible. Who can abide in it? Therefore, also now, God is very angry. He wants to visit the iniquity. He wants to visit the wickedness. He wants to visit their temples. Therefore, also now, says the Lord, turn ye even unto me with all of your heart. All of your heart, not partially. All of your heart. Entirely of your heart. Your will, your mind, your emotion has to be involved. Turn your heart, all of your family, turn them back to me. That's what God is saying. Not just by words. You must turn it with fasting. Verse 12. With fasting. Have you seen so many armies in your dream coming at you? You turn here, you turn here, armies. God is saying, turn with me with all of your heart if you want to win this battle. If you want to win this war, if you want to cross your Red Sea, turn with me. Turn to me with all of your heart. Don't look back like Lot. All of your heart. I need all of your attention. Woman, don't be distracted this season. Don't be distracted by your friend. Don't be distracted by buffet. Don't be distracted by food. All of your heart. I demand all of your heart. If you must follow me, Turn with me with all of your heart. With what? Fasting. Deprive your flesh. Don't let the voice of the flesh speak to you. Say no to your flesh. The flesh will say, oh, I need food. I need food. I need to eat. I need to eat. I need to go to Olive Garden. I need to go to Red Lobster. And they say, no, no, be silenced. Aren't you blessed? Aren't you? Aren't, aren't you? You gonna be paid this week? Come on, go and enjoy yourself. And you have to say, "No flesh, shut up." I must fulfill the ministry of the Lord. If you're not bold, if you're not, if you don't, he said, with all of your heart, with weeping, with fasting. Meaning, when you are fasting, you are breaking your heart. And you are weeping, crying. Look at the next thing he says. So, it's, it's not just shedding tears. But you must, if you are, it didn't say whether you are a man or a woman. With weeping and mourning. Meaning, verse 13 again, it says what? Rain your heart. Not your ropes, not your garments. Tear your heart. Break your heart. And turn to the Lord, your God. Break open your heart. Get deep within. Come to that place of stillness. Brokenness. Let God penetrate your heart. Look how it says in this verse. For he is gracious, merciful, slow to anger. And of great kindness. And repent him of his evil. Verse 14. Who knows if God will return and repent? Who knows? By your prayer, by your seriousness, with all of your heart. By all the totality of your heart. When you say, God, I'm sorry. 
when you rained your heart, not your ropes, when you rained your heart, have mercy, have mercy, circumcise my heart. I have been wicked, show me mercy. I have been hardened, show me mercy. I have had evil thoughts, show me mercy. My father, show me mercy. Oh God, it says with weeping, with mourning. Weeping is different. Weeping is different. Mourning is to, is to regret of the past mistakes. Regret how you've not, you've ignored his voice. To say, Lord, mourning means, hey, Jesus, I'm sorry. I wish I did this. I wish I did that. You must let worship penetrate your heart. Listen to me. God is telling you some serious requirements here. Verse 14. Who knows if you return and repent and leave a blessing behind drink offering to the Lord your God. Again, blow the trumpet in Zion. Again, sanctify a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Mark this day from, this, from the 5th all the way to the 12th and say, Lord, I surrender. This day, let it be holy before you. This day, I want to have an encounter with you. This day, pour your spirit upon me. Melt my heart. Give me to that place of brokenness. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders. Now, God is saying, these horses, these giants, these animals that are coming, this day of darkness, thick darkness are coming for you to wage war against such things. He said, listen to me, you have to awake me. Because if not, I'm coming with rage to destroy them and destroy you. He said what? Then look at what he says. Let the bridegroom go forth out of his chamber and the bride out of the closet. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders. He didn't say the men. Assemble what? The elders. Meaning, those who are elders in the Lord. Assemble the elders, gather the children, and those that suck breast. So, gather the children, those who are not so strong in God. Gather the elders, those who are elders in God, who are matured in faith. Gather the children, who are still what? Eating on milk, who are still drinking milk. The what? Gather those who are still sucking breast, meaning those who are still breastfeeding, those who are still, still drinking milk. Those who are still infants in God. Those who don't really understand the scriptures. Gather all of them to fast. Verse 17. He's saying it again. Let the priest weep. Let the priest and the ministers weep. Weep. He said, let the ministers and the priests of the Lord weep. In the demonic world, they are priests. Their ministers don't weep. Oh. They are very hardened. In God. God is saying, let them weep. Weep for what? Why should we weep? Why should we cry? He said, weep. Even if you don't want it, let it flow out of your heart. Don't hold back your tears. That is what you need now. And the altar. Let them say, spare thy people. Why are you weeping? You are weeping because you want God to spare your family. You are weeping because you want God to spare you. He say what? Days ahead, I see Garden of Eden. But in your past, you have to choose whether you want your past to, you want to relieve your past. Or you want to move away from your past. Why? Because your past is wilderness. There's, there's nothing in your past. But he's saying now, your past can be behind you if you choose to do, go through this fast. If you choose not to go through this fast, God will bring, re, re, bring you back to your past. I know many of you don't want to go back to your past. Look at what it says. Gather the people. Let the priest weep. Let the, verse 17. Let the priests and the ministers of the Lord weep between the pouch and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord. Give not your inheritance to reproach that the hidden should rule. That the hidden should rule over them. Wherefore, should they say among the people, where is our God? Where is their God? God spare thy people. Don't make us a mockery before our enemies. Whatever sin we have committed, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show my family mercy. 
Show me mercy for my anger. Show me mercy for not reading your word. Show me mercy for negative thoughts. Show me mercy for reacting negatively to my husband. Show me mercy, oh God, for not forgiving my, my, my mother. Show me mercy for not forgiving my father. Show me mercy. And you begin to go deep. 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 Verse 18. Verse 18. Then will the Lord be jealous. After you prayed. Then the Lord what will be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yay! The Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold! Whoa. Let's stop there. I think yesterday we, we talked about it yesterday, right? Yesterday we, we briefly talked about it. Okay. Then, Yay! The Lord will now pity, be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, The Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold! I will send you corn. What? Wine, what? Oh yeah, Daddy, I was praying for a visitation. I was praying that you spare the people. But now you are saying I will not just spare you. I will send provision. I will send. It. I will release you to a season of harvest. I release you to a season of prosperity. I release upon you a season of grace. To catch up all your wasted years. I will not just send you corn. I will not just send you oil. I will send you wine. So you can celebrate. I will send you corn. So you can multiply your seed. And create a harvest. Wow. We are just asking God to forgive us. We are not asking God for prosperity. God is saying. When you ask for mercy. When you weep with all of your heart. I will release harvest. Unknown to you. I will release prosperity that will come upon you even if you don't need it. Look at what it says. And ye shall be satisfied. The word satisfied, I love that word. Meaning to be content with what you have. Meaning you can have this car, you can have this car, you're not satisfied, you want to buy this one, buy this one. That's not what God is talking about. When he says something to you, you release that spirit of content. You are satisfied. You feel good on the inside that he has done it again. Somebody this month, this month, this month is coming to that level. When you obey God in your fast. Behold, I will send you corn. I will remove. Look at it. It says what? I will, and you shall be satisfied therewith. And I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. I will no more make you a reproach among the pe people. No more a reproach. Meaning, another translation says, And my people shall never be ashamed again. And my people shall never be ashamed again. Meaning, you will not be ashamed. You will not be ashamed. Hallelujah. One of the things when you begin to understand, he says what? He said, but I will remove far off from, from you the northern army. I will remove, I will drive him into a land that is barren. Meaning, that man, that's your boss. That's your uncle. Whoever that enemy is that has an authority or that is hiring evil priests or evil men against you. You see that man, I will make him barren. I will bring it to that place of nothingness. He said, I will drive him to a land that is barren, desolate. Look at what it says. Fear not, O ye land, and be glad. Rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, O you, beast of the field, for the pastures of wilderness do spring. Look how it says. Be glad, ye children of Zion. Verse 23. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you 
given you the former rain moderately and he has caused you to come down for you the rain the former rain what and the latter rain what it means it means it means the days and the years and the opportunities that has passed you by the, the, the times you missed out years ago all those times that you should have been married all those times that you should have been prosperous those times that you should have gotten a good job they were calling your phone and your phone did not even have battery your phone did not it was not connected so by the time you connected now you call them back because it was too late they fired somebody they hired somebody else opportunity begins to pass you by you will try to get visa overseas that time that window was open now it's not open again he's saying now the latter rain and the former rain the missed opportunities and the present opportunities i will jump them rain down upon you he said look at what it says the next verse i love it i love it i almost spoke it but i will told it he said what look at what it says hallelujah and the floors shall be full of width again prosperity your floor will be full of width your vast overflow with wine and oil meaning you will have overflowing testimonies abundance of testimonies it will be too much and i will restore to you the years the years that the locals have eaten ah the opportunities that has passed you by i will restore the good days where you have had money i will restore the days of celebration i will restore the days where you had good friends i will restore the days when you were buying so many bags, Gucci bags. The days when you were going to fashion. So many things was happening. Blessing on every side. The days when you're going to every church. Just sowing, sowing lavishly. And money was coming everywhere. I will restore. I will restore. I will restore. All that was consumed. All that was wasted. God is saying, I will restore. They can't come on the locals. I will restore. The caterpillar. The palm worm. My great amen are shined among you. And ye, and ye, look at the next verse, verse 26. And ye shall eat in plenty. Ye shall eat in plenty. Ye shall consume in plenty. My God, ye will eat. Your children will eat. Your husband will eat. Your wife will eat. And what? And be satisfied. Wow and praise the name of god meaning you will testify you will be full of joy so many things will be happening wow that god had dwelt wondrously with you and my people and my people and my people shall never be ashamed again god is saying you will not be ashamed again. God is saying that you will not be ashamed again. Meaning, the disgrace, the embarrassment. You are menstruating for three days. Instead, now you're not menstruating for seven days. It's become a pain, a pain, a pain, a pain. You are vomiting like you are, it's like as if you're in labor. All kinds of things happening. But God is saying, I will remove the shame. I will remove that ridicule that causes you to sleep in the car. Causes you to go from one job to another. I will remove all that embarrassment. And you will eat in plenty. What? You will eat Chinese food today. You will eat Red Lobster today. You will eat all kinds of flamion, all kinds of all kinds of good food visiting different places different restaurants looking for the best eating all the seafood look and say oh my god today you eat this one today you eat this one today you eat this one you don't have time to cook at home now many expensive restaurants are catering your food now because why you will have 
you have done the little part. God is saying, son, I'm calling to fasting. If you can obey the fast now, I will send corn in your future. If you can do the fast now, I will send provision in your future. Garden of Eden is in your future. Pleasure is in your future. Just put aside these days of fasting. Just do it. If you don't do it, the wilderness, the struggle comes into your future. And the Eden goes into your past. I say this loud and clear. I will not go back to my past. Oh, declare it. I will not go back to my past. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 27. And ye shall know. See what it says. And ye shall know that I am in the midst. Ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. None else. And my people shall never be ashamed again. Verse 28. God is not talking about revival now. God is not talking about your prayer life now. All is emphasizing. Is on your prosperity, your well-being. He wants to, when you've been a ridicule before your enemies, God wants to raise you up that your enemies will be asking for help from you. That's what God wants to do in your life. And it shall come to pass, verse 28. Afterward, I will pour my spirits. Afterward, after the blessings. After the new wine, after the corn, after the oil, I will not come again and pour my spirit upon all flesh. All flesh means, my spirit means an invitation, an ability, a grace to approach my presence. When the spirit comes upon individuals, God, it means that you will be knocking on the door of your heart. Son, daughter. Coming, I'm inviting you to come up higher. It's up for the ministers. It's up for the priests of the Lord to accept the invitation to come up higher in fasting and in prayer, in weeping, mourning, and in fasting. If you can do that, if you can rend your heart, God is saying. It shall come to pass afterward. I will pour my spirit upon our flesh. And upon what? Your sons, your daughters. What? You mean my children? You mean those belonging to me? You mean your family? You mean the, even the wicked ones? You mean that boy that doesn't want to really go to church? If I fast, you mean you will pour his, the spirit of God upon him? Meaning, you will cause him to begin to prophesy? You, you telling me that my husband will begin to dream dreams? Whoa. Seriously? By this encounter. And the old men will begin to dream dreams. Those wicked uncles will begin to see visions. God begins to warn them in their dream. Those in your family who have been sent to help you, God will begin to give them revelation. They say, honor this woman. They will begin to see some picture about you. Because while you are praying, your helpers will begin to see things about you. Begin to understand, oh my goodness, I need to connect with this sister. I need to connect with this brother. Hallelujah. And also upon the servants, upon the men, I will show wonders in heaven and the earth, blood, fire, pillars of smoke. Hallelujah. God is saying that something will begin to happen for you, brother. Something will begin to happen. Verse 32. Look at what it says in verse 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion, Hey God, and in Jerusalem, there shall be deliverance. And the Lord has said, Have you been oppressed? When you get into the place of fasting, 
when you when you turn your heart and you rend your heart before God, God is saying, I will come down and give you corn, oil, and wine. And now, not just that, you will never be ashamed again. You will begin to testify. He said, your vast will be full with width. Meaning, you begin to eat natural food. You'll be, your, your health will spring forth. You won't be eating hamburger. You'll be eating some good food, quality food, expensive food. You'll be going to a whole market. And it will be full of width, full of prosperity. And you will eat in plenty. And you'll be satisfied. You will eat in, and be what satisfied. That is what ever flowing abundance. And again, my people shall never be ashamed. What is what is called shame? Shame is what they call nakedness. Shame is when a man come and sleep with you in your dream. Shame is when your tire gets flat. A police gives you a ticket. Those are shame embarrassment. You run out of gas. You are driving. You run out of gas. You need to walk him out. You need someone to give you a ride. That is a shame and embarrassment. Your fridge breakdown is a shame and embarrassment. My people shall never be ashamed again. That's what he's saying. Great grace and my sons, your sons and your daughters shall be captured in the supernatural. The grace, the spirit of God will fall upon them because you have said, Spare my people, spare my people, spare my people, spare my people, spare thy people, O God. When God spare your people, your family, when God spare you, He begins to rain corn and borders upon you. Do you receive that word today? I hope that word blessed you. I hope that word enriched you. I hope this word of the Lord transformed your life. I believe that from today, as this word of God is upon you, may that word of the Lord be locked in your spirit. May it transform your life. May it renew your life. May your life never be the same again. I decree that and I decree the peace of God upon you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Eat all you can. But as from Monday, no water, I mean, sorry, just liquid. You can drink your tea. You can drink your smoothie. You can grind fruits. Blend it or drink it. Or drink, you blend your vegetables with your, with, your, with your pineapple. I love to drink pineapple. I buy like a whole pineapple, chop it up, blend it. That is the way I, I was, that is the way I drank my juice in India. They give me, you stop by and they give you some pineapple and you mix it with some ginger. If you never tried it, go try it. Fresh pineapple, blend it, drink it. Ooh, your life will be transformed. Beautiful. You can do that. Or you can drink tea also too. Amen. You, it will bless you, it will nourish you. You will be joyful in God. Don't stress yourself. But listen to me. No food, no, no meat. No peanuts, just liquid. Stay, and as you do that, go to the place where you rain your heart. Make sure you cry. Make sure you weep. There's nothing to cry. Just cry for your sins. And it says mourn. When people mourn, they don't mourn because their son is alive. They mourn because their son is dead. So the word mourn means mourn because of the mistakes you've done to God. Lord, I'm sorry for breaking your heart. I'm sorry for doing this, Lord. Show me mercy. This is how you are crying to God. And guess what? When God answers your prayer, you will begin to send great prosperity. These are the benefits of what I just read to you. God will release grace. Grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know you are blessed. And I know your life will never be the same. In Jesus' name. Spread the word of God. Spread the news. If you have never been joining us in our in our WhatsApp, I give you the number. Oh, it's a, it's a blessing to be among the body of Christ. It's a blessing to be encouraged by different people. People send different prayer points. People send different messages. Amen. And we and me and the team, we pray for those who on the prayer on the, on the, on the prayer watch. Those on uh, WhatsApp, we pray for them. We lift them up before God. That the hand of God come upon every vessel, every person, every man on what's up. That the Lord will protect them from danger. The Lord will protect them from warfare. I pray for you too. That if you find yourself that, listen to me. 
some people they see some somebody like we pour some some something that is can be negative and, and and you find one person will leave when one person leaves i sometimes i make sure i call them and you have like one or two people leave they get disconnected from the body of christ so once you get disconnected an evil voice starts speaking to you because you are alone and once you get out of the company of believers just like a lion isolates a prey you will find yourself outside of the company and the, the, the lion can be able to get you because you're alone a particular sister was on our whatsapp being blessed and she ended up leaving two weeks later she didn't know this lady has kept herself for almost four years she didn't know that as she left she was exposing herself within two weeks she committed adultery with a pastor slept with him she called crying please pray for me to restore me back when she told me she left what's up when she told me i said wow why did you leave why did you leave you got you left the place of accountability you left the place of listen to me you need a watchman in your life you need a man that can stand and pray and can cover you a man that you can text and say, sir, please keep me your prayers. I need prayers. Don't expose yourself. Don't isolate yourself. And I pray for you today that the Lord will keep you. The Lord will keep you strong. The Lord will keep you as a fortress. The Lord will establish you and the Lord will hold you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. I pray for you. I bless you. That the favor, the favor cloud of God, the cloud of God's favor, the fire of God's favor, follow you everywhere you go i decree by the power of the blood before your helpers your rope your garment will change colors your garment will change with favor your garment will reflect his beauty in the name of jesus i release upon you an uncommon fragrance and a unique divine aroma that will follow you the rest of your life in the name of jesus christ I decree that the trumpet of the Lord, as the trumpet of the Lord replaced the name of Mordecai in the ears of the king, till he showed favor to Mordecai. Let that same trumpet begin to blast and begin to replay your voice, begin to replay your name in the ears of your helpers, till they show favor to you. I decree, no, none of your family, none of your children none of your wife or your husband will suffer any loss in the name of jesus they will not suffer or come under the rulership of sicknesses or disease none is permitted to be afflicted anymore you are victorious you will reign you will go from glory to glory to glory to glory in jesus name we pray amen i want to say again if you want to be part of us to be a blessing to the ministry, you want to sow, you want to be a giver, oh, feel free. We have the PayPal account, the PayPal link. Feel free to test me. Amen. My number again is 612. If you need prayers, you need to understand your dreams and some things happen to you and you need me to pray with you, stand with you and believe with you. Make sure you text me. Amen. It's 612-701-5983. 612 Seven zero one five nine eight three. The Lord blesses you abundantly. May the Lord enrich you, and may the Lord keep you standing. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause His face to shine upon you and give you peace. Amen. Shalom. Hallelujah. God bless you. Love you. More. Hallelujah. Blessings.